I never really had Heather anyway. I you never what? I never really had Heather anyway. I definitely won't have her after this. So all I got is just that little piece of my word. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. No, I need you to look at me. Okay. All right. For the first time, I just saw some real emotion from you. Okay. And we've been going out this for a little while now. Well, that's fucking me, you guys, man. All right. Well, hold on a second. I don't think you're a bad guy. Usually I'm not. Uh, why don't why don't we start over? Square one. But we need to be completely honest with each other, okay? I can't I can't be completely honest with you. But I'm being completely honest with you. I am telling you I the know. truth. I know. I'm telling you no. the truth everything. Okay, let's, we're going to start with little pieces, okay? Little pieces. Not the truth by either. I'm going to ask you a question. What room in Heather's house did this take part in? What room was Scott killed in? I got no idea. No, it's... What room were you in when you saw Scott's body? I know what room. I know where that in the house the mess was at. Okay, let's start there. Where was the mess at? It's okay. No, it's not, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. Was it a big mess?
Kevin. Breathe. Okay. Okay. Hey, Kevin. Pick your head up and breathe, okay? In and out. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Kevin, what room was it in? Was it in the living room? Gentlemen, I can't say. I can't. I can't say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the only thing I've got. My word, and I promised. I can't give that up, please. I'll give up my whole life, but I can't give that up. I know it doesn't make sense. Who who are you trying to save here? Why are you giving up yourself for somebody else? Because right now, you are in this room with us. That other person is not. And the unfortunate thing is that we are risking everything right now for this. For this conversation. Do what? Ten years from now, are you going to want to remember this conversation that it went this way? Um, I got CTE. Oh. No, I'm just saying. No, I got. I'll be alive in ten years. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be so. So, so here's here's the deal, Kevin. We were talking about what happened with Scott and Heather right. on the eighth of February at her house in Greeley. Okay. You said you dry heaved and there was a big mess. Where was the big mess at? Because you obviously dry heaved in the sink in the kitchen. Where was the mess at? Guys, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Kevin, I'm going to tell you the truth about something right now. Okay? I told you that we were at Heather's house. Right now, our crime scene folks are out there. They are working the scene. Okay? What are they going to find and where? Those are the big questions. We need to find out from you, though. Okay? Where was the mess at? If you're texturing and good, they'll be able to find it, I'm sure. What was that? I said if you guys just text or any good, they'll be able to find it for sure. So after you uh, you said you it was a big mess and you dry heaving, you looked at the ground and you made a motion with your hands, like a shaking motion. Tell me about that. Was Scott on the floor? Just little, little bits, little bits by bits. Okay, okay, Kevin. Was was Scott on the floor? I can't see, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't say he's on the floor. It's a, there's lots of rooms in the house. And the reason I was doing that was because of the. Appreciate that. And I'm sure this was a an extremely difficult experience for you. And you know what? It was probably an experience that you were put in the middle of. You didn't ask to be put there. But because of other people's choices, you were there. And you were in the middle of it. You didn't decide to be the, to be in the middle of it. Other people made those choices for you. That's not real fair. There'd been. Uh, you can say it, Scott. You can say it. Kevin. Okay, let's back up a little bit. 
Was Scott alive when you were at the house? Do you remember Scott being alive? I told you I didn't know Scott. Scott's where the mess is. Okay? Scott's at the house. There was just a mess. What was the mess? Let's start there. What was that mess? Was it blood? Kevin? Was the mess blood? Gentlemen, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry, guys. What are you sorry about? The, So you go over to the house. Heather's at the house. You go inside the house. We know that you're inside the house. Okay? You didn't just talk to her at the door and then leave. You went inside. Scott, the musician from Greeley, that Heather went and saw at the bars and was intimate with, that you said Heather claimed that he raped her. He's not the great guy in the world, okay? He's not the best guy here. You went into the house and Scott was dead in the house. Or was he alive? Please. You can say it. And you helped Heather clean up the mess because you're the devoted boyfriend. Kevin, it's okay. Take some deep breaths. I'm just a knuckle bit of a little bit too much. Well, Kevin, what happened? That's all I'm asking, what happened? It's a simple question, and there's a simple answer. And the simple answer is you tell us what happened. Hey. I don't know, it could have been an accident, I don't know. Something definitely happened. Um, tell us. Tell us what you remember seeing. You know what I think happened? Kevin, I think you wanted to confront this guy. And uh, you know, you're, you're a strong guy. Probably take care of your own. And um, maybe rough him up a little bit. And and it got to the point where it, it went beyond that. So I mean, you didn't mean it to get to beyond that. That solves nothing. I, I won't even head down that road to begin with. Okay. Especially over somebody that has been screwing or that's been raped by it because it, it's happened so many times that. There, but yeah, I'm numb to that. That's not going to evoke any kind of a emotional reaction out of me. Let me ask you this. Were you going over to the house to get Heather out of that situation because you thought it was going to be bad? I went over to the house because I know that she gets too drunk and I don't want her to lose her job. Okay. And I sure her car won't start if she's been drinking past a certain time, past 8 p.m. And she drinks past 8, she knows her car won't start. Then I didn't look her on the phone in the past and it's just easier to just go over there and make sure she's up and give her a ride. Okay. You said earlier that you thought that this was an accident. Kevin, look at me. Breathe, okay? You, you said earlier that the, you thought that this was an accident. Describe the accident to me. Tell me what the accident was. Mm -hmm. I... Kevin, you can say it. What was the accident?
sorry guys. I, I don't, I can't, I can't remember. Hey, we're not talking about that anymore, okay? Look at me. That's not truthful. We're going to be truthful today, okay? We're going to end this conversation on a positive note. We're going to be truthful about what happened last Saturday. We're going to be truthful about last night as well, okay? Look at me, okay? Promise me that you're going to be truthful. I'm not trying to do my best. No, I want you to be completely truthful with me, okay? Tell me about the accident. Because whoever you said that you were promising doesn't matter anymore because it's you and me and Ryan right here. Kevin, you, me, and Ryan. Those are the only three people that, that are going to know what happened. Okay, you need to tell us. Be truthful. Who are you afraid of? Kevin, who are you afraid of? You don't want to say something because you're afraid it's going to hurt somebody. You're afraid of something. What are you afraid of? I just don't want to break my word, that's all. Your word to who? I'm to anybody ever. Okay. Your word in this situation to who? Kevin, look at me. Kevin. I can't tell you that. You can't. Because that doesn't tell me anything. It just tells us what the speed bump is. And Kevin, your word in it. In a situation like this where someone lost their life, the truth is more important than, than keeping your word. You understand? So the yeah, truth I mean, I in this situation is more important to cops. than your word. So, where was Scott hurt? Some place pretty serious, look like. Remember, the truth is more important than your word in this situation. Where was he hurt? You can see it. You just told us that you could see it. Describe it to us. I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I just, it had to be someplace serious for that amount of fucking blood. So there was a lot of blood there. Where was the blood at? Every fucking where. Every fucking where. Was it in the kitchen? Or was it in the dining room? Was it in the living room? Was it in the bedroom? Where? Kevin. Kevin. Breathe. Remember the truth. Your conflict right now that you are struggling with right now will be gone. All you have to do is tell us where it was. I did, it was everywhere. Every fucking where. Everywhere. 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 And where was Scott? Scott. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you 
you've been all you've been giving us little bits of truth. Justin and I appreciate that. You've told us there was a lot of blood. You told us you drive heaved. We you appreciate that. Look at him really weak stomach. Hey, that makes two of us, brother. So you see a lot of blood. Was the blood there when you first got there, or was the blood there after you'd been there for a while? I was on the rifle, I seen it. I mean, it just went out of fucking control after that. I mean, it just... Who else was I didn't have my phone. <clears throat> but I suggested it would be a legitimate idea to just call the police now, because this is serious. Who did you tell that to? Did you say that to Heather? It didn't do any good. So it doesn't matter who I said it to. Was there somebody else there other than Heather and Scott? I didn't see Scott, but I, I can't say no more, guys. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't... In the days afterward, <clears throat> everybody having a different what ifs and scenarios and theories and explanations. <sighs> it's just too much. <sighs> I, I don't know how accurate anything I, I, that I remember is or is going to be. There was just a lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of emotions. There was a lot of fucked up shit. This should have never happened. It happened. Well, tell us about some of that. Tell us about some of the stuff that shouldn't have happened, but it did happen. Love. And this is the time to protect yourself. And you need to tell us what's going on. Describe it to us.
We had school that was smart enough about it. I'm talking. 
guys outside. Kevin, look at me for a second. Okay. Troy's talking. All good for Troy. All good for Troy. You got scared. I told you guys that is a really mean trick. There's nothing wrong with Heather. I'm not. I was going to ask how she ended up out, but I'm not going to fall for it. Heather's Kevin. Kevin. She just didn't go to work. Kevin. She'll be home later tonight. Kevin, look at me. Yes, you will. No. We're not lying to you. Everything that we've talked about, we've told you is the truth. And you know what's the truth. Heather is dead. Look at me. Look at me. 
we have a problem here. Okay, and the problem is, is that we have Scott, who died at Heather's house, back to last Saturday night, and that your car was seen going up Cooter Canyon to Pingree Park to dispose of his body and burn his body. Okay, and now, last night, we had a tracker on your car, and your car went out to the, to the farm. So I told you she threw me out, so I went out there and I tried talking to Troy, and she said, yeah, whatever. When did she throw you out? It was when we got back from... In groceries. Yeah, everything in London, all that. The receipts have been bad. The times Kevin, now. Kevin oh. you left her house with her at 5.15. 5.17 to be exact. I showed you the video. I'm not lying to you. You drove away from the house and she didn't return to the house. I drove away from the house. I went to Troy's and he just didn't seem receptive to how I was feeling, so I just went out driving around. Okay. And Heather was with you at that time? No. Yeah. She was at her house. I seen the video. I know. But I still don't believe it. That's not the way it happened. She got into your car. And you guys drove out to the farm, out to Troy's place. Tell me about when you guys got there, when you and Heather got there. Don't shake your head no, because it's, it's, it's the truth. We're talking the truth now. You promised me that you'd be truthful to the best of your ability, okay? I know that you have the ability to tell me the truth right now. You're telling me that you promised somebody that you wouldn't tell me the truth. And I'm, I'm having a hard time believing who I, it is. I didn't promise somebody I want to tell you the truth. I just promised somebody that I wouldn't say anything to have any of it. But I'm already fucked up and I've said way too much. Hey, Kevin, I noticed when Justin talked about you driving up with Heather to Pinger Park to dispose of the body, you shook your head yes. Your head was down, you shook your head yes. Your body wants to tell us the truth. Your heart wants to tell us the truth. That's just crazy. We just went up there to eat breakfast. No, you didn't. No, you, didn't. you went up there to dispose of a body. Dispose of uh, Scott's body. Let's stop. Let's start with the simple stuff. Okay. Let's forget about Heather. Let's forget about Troy. You went up to Pinkery Park. No, I went up to the place to eat. No, you didn't. We've already told you that that did not happen. You're right, I didn't even go anywhere. I'm just saying I did to cover somebody's ass. Can I get a lawyer? I'm sorry, guys. Thank you. I'm sorry I let you down. My life's over no matter what, guys. All right, we're going to step up for a second. All right. Thank you for being so silly with me, gentlemen.